Robot in Seoul. Hey girls and guys. So I'm really super excited because there's this really cool uh, thing that, forgive my butchering if this is incorrect, Raylene and Ariel uh, created, and I'll have the link to their channels below. They decided to create a booktube-a-thon. So basically, it's just a way to get you to read more, and I'm super excited, and I decided that I'm going to do it. Um, so this is kind of, you know, besides just reading every day, they uh, established some challenges to do. And so I'm just going to tell you what I'm going to do and fingers crossed I do it. So the first challenge that they uh, made was to read 300 pages a day, which is a little bit daunting of a task, um, but they realized that it, I mean, it would be a challenge otherwise, but I'm a pretty slow reader. So I feel like this is going to be definitely a challenge. Uh, I'm excited. I'm going to try. But despite my love of reading, I can be pretty slow. The next challenge was to read a book that is over 500 pages. The book that I chose is slightly under, but forgive me. I chose Tipping the Velvet by Sarah Waters. Um, and I chose this because I am reading it for... Uh, the Vaginal Fantasy Book Club. And if you haven't heard of that and you're on Goodreads, you should definitely go check it out. It's uh, sci-fi, fantasy, um, paranormal romance novels. This is a little different, but uh, I was planning on reading this, so I'm going to count it even though it's only 472 pages. Yeah, so I'm going to count it, but a little bit under. The next category or challenge was to reread a book. Uh, I thought about this. I didn't know exactly what I wanted to reread. I haven't reread a lot of books. I just started doing that recently. But last weekend, I played the Pride and Prejudice board game, which is, I think it's pretty old with some friends. And I realized that it's been quite a while since I read it. And it's one of my favorite books. So that's why I've chosen Pride and Prejudice to be my reread. Next challenge was to finish a um, series or trilogy. Now, um, my friends uh, got me to read the Fifty Shades of Grey series. I read the first and the second book um, and started the third, but I haven't finished it yet. So I've picked the Fifty Shades Freed. Can't really see it, but that's what I've chosen to be my... Uh, finishing of a series. Next was to pick a book that's been on your shelf forever. So I have a lot of books that have been on my shelf that I haven't read. Um, I chalk it up to being an adolescent that really wanted to read but never wanted to put the time in. So I would buy a lot of books and then never read them. So I went to look at my bookshelf and see what was there that I wanted to read or just haven't read. And I found Kissing Doorknobs by Terry Spencer Hesser. Um, I'm pretty sure that I bought this. I might have been preteen, if not a teenager. And it's about somebody with um, OCD. And so I thought it'd be an interesting read. And so that's my book that's been on my shelf forever. Next, you were supposed to pick an audiobook to listen to, which I think is a really cool idea. Um, I haven't listened to a lot of audiobooks, but... I do, I did enjoy it when I was driving a lot. Uh, I used to commute about an hour and a half to go to school. So that was really nice. And yeah, so I picked uh, Tagana by Guy Gavriel K. My Kindle, which is where it's at, uh, is not, is acting up right now. So don't have a cover for that for you. But it's a um, fantasy novel. It takes place in, uh, a world with wizards and and um, a kingdom, a world that or a land that's been lost. So the last challenge then was to pick a classic. Um, I considered counting Pride and Prejudice as both my reread and my classic, but 
kind of felt like that would be cheating just a little bit. And I was already doing not quite 500 pages for my 500 page book. So I decided not to do that. And I picked, I'll just show you. I picked Heart of Darkness by Joseph Conrad. Now I read that in uh, senior year of high school and I hated it with a passion. I hated it. Basically, I'm rereading it because I want to see if I still hate it. Maybe it was just my age or I'm curious to see if I still hate it or not. And so, yeah. So that is the Bookathon challenges set up and super excited. Uh, ah, the challenge runs from July 15th through the 21st. So it starts on Monday and ends next Sunday. And I'm really excited. Bye.